Hey guys, welcome back. All right, got another video today. Bit of a treat this one. It's another cooking video. But this time, I'm going to use a smoker. Now this smoker, in particular, is only cheap. It's only about $69, and it's one of these jumbuck ones that you get from Bunnings. Now I haven't tried it yet, so we're going to give it a go for the first time. So, these are the jumbacks. You can buy these for $69, that's right, $69 at Bunnings. It's a smoker. So I've got some Gigi charcoal. I picked up some G Gigi charcoal out at the Drifter Brandale store a couple of days ago when I was dropped by there for three hours. <laughs> that's right, three hours. Uh, so we're going to try some of that Gigi charcoal. My brother-in-law has just shot off at Bunnings to go and get one of those little thermometers. My, my meter thermometer we're going to use, it, it doesn't work anymore. It's on the blink. So I don't know what the go is with that. So he's going. To, he's picking up a cheap one, similar to, to one I used to own before I, I had the meter thermometer. Now the jump back does have a thermometer here at the top. It shows both Fahrenheit and degrees Celsius. So I'm not sure how accurate that is, but it should be accurate enough. We're not cooking this till tomorrow. So I'm filming this the day before. But we're starting to prepare the brisket today. So I will film that as we're preparing the brisket. And it's about a two kilo brisket. We're gonna to plan to cook it over slow heat around eight hours. And I'll show you um, applying the rub. So we'll just cue to that right now. And then after that, I'll show you this brisket being cooked, starting to cook in the morning. soaking the wood chips for half an hour and then we're going to remove them out the water and then place them in here and of course that then goes inside the jump back smoker so what you see here is the drifter stockton charcoal starter so it sits on starting charcoal and what we're using is we're using the Pitt Brothers Gigi charcoal. It's the hardest um, 
timber you can get and it makes the best charcoal so it's very hot you don't need to use as much as this because we want to cook this over a relatively low heat for a long time so I hope we don't already have too much in there already but we'll monitor the temperature this will only take about 15 minutes 10-15 minutes to light up this charcoal and then we'll put them in the smoker the jump back smoker that's available from Bunnings that I showed you yesterday for $69 here in Australia So what we're going to do now is we're going to put some wood chips on that on that level and then we're going to put another tray on top and then we're going to put the steak in. So that's it, now Troy's going to put the lid on and that's going to sit on top of here. It'll and we'll see what temperature it comes to but we won't wait too long because we've got to get this on. There we go. There we go. So she's starting to cook, guys. We just got to whack the probe in there. Welcome back. It's about an hour later. So let's see what we've got in an hour. Now, you want to, when you first start cooking with these, those are trying them out for the first time like we are, Probably just use half the amount of Gigi charcoal that we put in. As you can see, I've got both doors open and I've got the vent here fully open and she's holding a nice 200 degrees Fahrenheit thereabouts. So you wouldn't want, I don't think you'd want much more than that if you want to cook a meat slow. So the steak at the moment is sitting on 104 Fahrenheit. Now as those Gigi charcoals burn up, they're going to drop down in heat and then we'll start closing the doors. Uh, so probably just start out with half of that amount of the Gigi charcoal, because it's always easy to add more in. And as you can see inside here, if you have a look in there, you can see, you see how bright and white those Gigi charcoal, they get really hot. It's now nearly four and a half hours. We're going to make some smoky barbecue marinade and you're going to add some garlic salt. The brisket is uh, approaching close to 156 uh, Fahrenheit. So here we are, as you can see, we've been constantly keeping this temperature around the 200 Fahrenheit, 100 degrees Celsius, or just a tad over. A couple of times I've uh, added a bit more of the Pit Brothers Skidgy Charcoal. So I'm quite impressed with these little uh, smokers. And that's the, that's the temperature, 154. Now ideally we want it to go up to 165. And then we're going to baste it, taking it out. Basting it with that marinade I'll just show you. And then we're going to wrap it in alfoil. As you can see there, it's all ready to go. That's my sister, Lisa. <laughs> That's Troy. <laughs> you know all the, who that is? Who's that? Mama. That's mum. <laughs> so these, there you go, guys, you've met some of my family. Let's live down the Gold Coast. Whoa, look at that. 
How it looks juicy, guys. Look at the juice on that. How awesome is that? That's what we want. So, just basting on that barbecue marinade now. So, I'm going to make it into barbecue. Ryan, the dreaded chef, gave me a f gave us a few tips last night. I sent Ryan a, what's the best way to do this? And one of these little... So, I hope we're doing you justice, Ryan. <laughs> I know you'll be watching this. But it's all about the final result, isn't it, Ryan? So, what we're going to do is wrap this up and then I think we're going to slowly bring it up to 210 degrees Fahrenheit so it'll probably take god no what another two three hours so now I'm going to wrap it up and put it back in and wait So you can see the Gidgee charcoal in there. You can see there's only a little bit. So that's like what I mean. You don't need a lot. There we go. Now we're going to put the lid back in and wait. When that hits about 210, we're going. I think it's 210. I'm going to. Re, we're going to remove that and then let it uh, rest for a while and uh, see what the outcome is. Just over six hours. So welcome back guys, I reckon she's just about cooked so we're going to open her up and have a look now. She's been cooking for about 7, what's it, 116? Seven, seven hours. Just uh, about 7 hours and 20 minutes at the moment and it's nice and tender, it looks really soft. So I, I reckon we're going to take it off now and let it rest for a while and I'll come back and show you what the result is. So there it is guys. It's all cooked eight hours. We cooked this for eight hours. There's, a, there's sausages there, Katie. What do you reckon? We're going to eat it for ten minutes. It, it, it looks good. I think, I think, uh, I don't know, I reckon we've done a pretty good job for first attempt. So it's going to be cut now. So let's see how this goes, shall we? Ooh. 